Welcome back to America's Now. Rosario, Argentina has been tarnished by an increase in drug trafficking and drug-related violence. The city has the distinction of having the highest homicide rate in the country. This week's Game Changer is a former professional hockey player who returned to his hometown after a successful career in Europe. He is trying to help Rosario recover through education and sports. This is the story of Mario Raimondi. My name is Mario Raimondi, I'm the, one of the co-founders of El Desafio Foundation and our philosophy is to give these children, to give them the opportunities and the chances to unleash their talents and unleash their potential. Yes, we have that uh, crazy factor. I mean, yeah, if you're going to stand in front of a ball that is coming at 200 kilometers per hour and like a bullet, I think that there is some characteristic that you must have. I think that what I like most of being a goalkeeper is that I felt I could change the destiny of a game. To me, it was like an awakening moment. I saw in the people that uh, some some intentions and, and feeling like getting involved in the life of the country. So it was very painful in a way, but also it was a wake-up call, uh, and that was the beginning of actually of, of El Desafío. I think that this is also a problem for the whole society that is not living in poverty conditions, but you know, they are part of the society and they start to have some and, and see some of the consequences of poverty. Poverty is a problem of everyone. Doing the small things, they can make big changes. Uh, and I, I deeply believe in that concept, that big social change is triggered, but a summary of small actions. Sí, vamos a ver por televisión. Sí, después nosotros vamos a ver por televisión. Así. We have kids coming here with what 11 years old that they have problems at school, that they were communicating in a very aggressive way to peers, that they started to change and they brought that to the family. 
And we have mothers uh, of 33 years old with nine kids that they could not finish school. And because of their sons changing, they come here and they say, you know, can you please teach me how to ride down the bridge? Because I, I now understand how, it's, how important it is for my life. And I realized that because of my son. We thought of starting to bring some inspiration to them, to show them what's, what other ways we have to create commitment and social responsibility. One of our volunteers, that uh, she was checking for the status of the mini library, see if everything was fine, and there was someone returning a book, a guy of around 25 years old, and he told her that he lives in a, in a shanty town, and that was the first book that he ever read. Such a small concept impacts someone else's life in such a strong way. The question is, how do we really impact those 110 kids? Did we really make a good job and they could really unleash their talents and they could really stand on their own feet when they were adults? And if the answer is yes, then the social change will, will happen and the impact will really, really happen. So right now in Argentina, we lack that trust for each other, even that we are, you know, fellow men under the same flag. Uh, but we need that. We need one another to build something better. This project has touched the lives of more than 300 students Volunteers are helping Mario Raimondi build the dream. We'd love to hear your comments, so if you know someone who is helping change the world, drop us a line at an at cctv-america.com, or you could send us a tweet at cctv underscore America and tell us about a game changer you'd like to see on our show. Coming up... The economic crisis that is driving thousands out of Puerto Rico. The uh, rise in unemployment, uh, poverty, and uh, lack of economic opportunities that have led uh, more and more Puerto Ricans to leave the island. America's Next.